Hello, welcome to Chapter 6, Section 3, Solving Systems by Elimination. I'm on page 401 of the book, which is page 24 of the PDF, and we're going to do problems 4, 5, and 6. We're still solving by elimination, like I said, but for these problems, it's not going to be set up nice like the original, like the problems 1, 2, and 3. In this, I have x, and I also have an x. These are the same, and if I add them, I'm going to have 2x. So the directions for these are going to say solve by first subtracting. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I try to avoid subtraction. We talk about adding the opposite. So let's get started. So I have x subtract 10y equals 60. I'm going to leave that one alone. But for the other one, I'm going to find the opposite of each of these terms. That's going to give negative x, which is what I want. These are going to add up to 0. But I also get negative 14, y, and I get negative 12. I can't just do that. I have to do the entire equation. x plus negative x is 0. Negative 10 plus negative 14 is negative 24y. And 60 subtract 12 is 48. The 0 doesn't affect anything, so I get negative 24y equals 48. And if I divide by negative 24, looks like I'm going to get y equals negative 2. Now, even though I found the opposite to use it, I want to go back and use the original equations. That one was okay, but this one, I, I don't want to use what I did here. I want to always go back to the original, to, to this time to solve and find my x. So I've got x subtract 10y equals 60. My y is negative 2, so x subtract 10 times negative 2 equals 60. Multiply. Negative 10 times negative 2 is positive 20. And the opposite of adding 20 is to add negative 20. So I'm going to get x equals 60 plus negative 20 is 40. Now I'm going to try that with the other one. x plus 14y equals 12. I think y is negative 2, so I'm going to do 14 times negative 2. 14 times negative 2 is negative 28. And the opposite of adding negative 28 or subtracting negative 28 is to add positive 28. So I get x equals 12 plus 28 is 40 again. That's the same as it was. That tells me that my solution is 40, negative 2. Problem number five, five x plus y equals zero and five x plus two y equals 30. One thing I could do if I wanted to was to multiply the top equation, the first equation by negative two. That would change that, zero times negative two stay, stay zero, but then to make the y's drop out. But I think it'd be easier if I take care of the fives or the five x's. So my first equation is five x plus y equals zero. I'm going to find the opposite of this equation. So I get negative 5x, positive 2y becomes negative 2y, and positive 30 becomes negative 30. Add them together, 1y plus negative 2y is negative 1y, or negative y, and 0 plus negative 30 is negative 30. Now we talked about this about different ways. You've seen me do it different. The opposite of this equals the opposite of 30. So the opposite of an opposite is the same. So I'm going to get y equals 30. If you don't follow that, then just divide both sides by negative 1, and I get y equals positive 30. All right, now let's use this and find out what the x is. 5x plus y equals 0. 5x plus 30 equals 0. The opposite of adding 30 is to add negative 30. And I get 5x equals negative 30. Divide both sides by 5, and I get x equals negative 6. 
Now let's go back to the, this equation, not this one, this equation. 5x plus 2y equals 30. And I'm going to try that y again. I say 5x plus 2 times 30 equals 30. A lot of 30s in here. 2 times 30 is 60. I'm going to add negative 60 to both sides. And 5x equals negative 30. Dividing by 5 gives me x equals negative 6, which is what we said it would be. So my solution, xy, is going to be negative 6, positive 30. And let's do problem number 6, one more for this section. So notice I have negative 5x here, negative 5x here. No problem, I'm going to find the opposite of that one. And to be honest, I didn't mention this with the other ones, but for the previous problems, I could have found the opposite of that and the opposite of the first one. It doesn't matter as long as you get two coefficients that are going to add up to zero. So my first equation is going to be negative 5x plus 7y equals 11. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Usually I don't put a plus sign, but I'll do, for you, do that for you. The opposite of positive 3y is negative 3y. And the opposite of positive 19 is negative 19. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 7y plus negative 3y is 4y. And positive 11 plus negative 19 is negative 8. Let's divide by 4, and I get y equals negative 2. Now I'm going to go back to the original equations again. Negative 5x plus 7y equals 11. My y is negative 2. So negative 5x plus 7 times negative 2 equals 11. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And now I'm going to start working backwards. I'm going to add positive 14 to both sides. And by the way, what I'm doing here is the same as what I'm doing over here. I, I haven't mentioned that yet because I forgot to say it, but it's the same idea. Negative 5x, negative 14 plus 14 equals 0. And 11 plus 14 equals 25. Dividing by negative 5 gives me x equals negative 5. So now let's try it with the other one. Negative 5x plus 3y equals 19. Notice I'm using what was originally given to me, not when I changed it. Negative 5x plus 3 times negative 2 equals 19. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And the opposite of subtracting 6 is to add 6. So I get negative 5x equals 25. Divide by negative 5, and I get x equals negative 5. 25 divided by negative 5 is negative 5. That's the same as that. So my solution is x equals negative 5, y equals negative 2. All right, we'll see you in the next videos.